Kosar's on Grand Street by the corner of Essex has been in business since 1936. And it's the oldest Bialy bakery in the United States. We're gonna go inside, I'm gonna check out both their Bialy's and their bagels and explain the difference between what is a Bialy versus a bagel. You'll be surprised, extra good. In addition to bialis and bagels, they have their own rubula, babka, hala, black and white cookies. So let's go inside. Now this is where all the magic happens. This is the bakery. If you get here early enough, you can watch them baking. Because they open at 6 a.m. They have many different types of cream cheese to go with your Bial or bagel, of course. And Nova smoked salmon, crab locks, whitefish, all extra good. And there they are. Bialy is $1.50 and bagels, any flavor, $1.75. Plus, they have many different types of sandwiches. A lot of them are named for streets in the Lower East Side. It's really cool. This is our photo of Kosar's, of what it originally looked like, and it's in our book storefront that's disappearing faiths in New York, but we gave them the right to use this. Oh, cool. Guys, we got a lot of goodies. Uh, that's, I think we, I think we got it all. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm gonna tell you the difference between a Bialy and a bagel. These are from Kosar's. Here we are. We just got a fresh, hot, out of the oven Bialy. That's on the right. This is a bagel on the left. This is an everything bagel. Now, the Bialy has m much simpler ingredients, but it's actually way more complicated to make. Let me show you. It has a it's round with a depressed center filled with onions and or garlic. And it has only four ingredients, very simple ingredients. Flour, water, salt, yeast, that's it. And it's baked in their brick oven. But you have to bake them in only very large batches. Kosar's uses like a hundred pounds of flour at a time, you know, to make their large batch. This is their bagel. The bagel 
has uh, malt in it. So it's different ingredients and it's boiled first and then baked. So it's, it's hand rolled, boiled in water and then it's baked. So that's the difference. Kosars was founded by Morris Kosar, who emigrated from Bialystok, Poland. And that's where the name Bialy comes from. It's a shortened version of Bialystok. When we photograph this lovely, lovely bakery in the early 2000s. It was sold by the original Kolsar family to uh, Deborah Engelmeyer. She was a, a woman who lived in the neighborhood and she took over the tradition of baking their bialis. At that time, they only baked bialis. They did not bake bagels because originally it was just Kosar's bialis. And she later added bagels to the menu because so many people would come in and they would ask for bagels because people are more familiar with a New York bagel, not a Bialy. But like I said, they're, they're totally different in the way they're made, the ingredients, everything. We got one other thing to show you, actually two that we got. This, let me grab it. If you've got a mega size appetite, you can get their huge pretzel. It's like a giant, giant, depressed, um, I guess a flattened, you know, kind of like a Bialy, but like extra, extra, extra big. And it doesn't have the onions in the center. They call it a pretzel. Look at that. Amazing, right? But you better be hungry. And you can also get what a friend of ours calls like a long bialy, which is a bulka roll. That's their bulka roll. Extra, extra good. Made all on the premises. No preservatives, baked fresh every day. When we interviewed Deborah, she told us that the original Kosar family, to stay warm in the 1930s, when they were, you know, baking and making all their bialys, they actually slept over the oven you know, at the shop. And we thought that was like the most amazing story. Extra, extra good. Of course, they don't do that here anymore. And Deborah Engelmeyer no longer owns Kosar. Uh, she since sold it to um, two partners, but they still continue the tradition of using that same family recipe brought over from Bialystok, Poland to make their Bialys. And of course, the bagels as well. But they modernized the storefront a bit and it's really nice because they opened it up so you could see the actual baking going on behind the glass wall. And then they added a lot of sandwiches and things like that to the menu and babka and challah, which they never sold here before. So <laughs> we, we hope you enjoy that little tutorial. And what's really nice is that you can eat outside if you want to. So extra, extra, extra good. <laughs>